Hello guys, welcome to the fourth video of my series on Jupyter Notebook tips, tricks and hacks. In this video, we're gonna see how we can calculate the time of execution of a particular Jupyter Notebook cell. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's say I have got some very simple um, code. Let's say sq equal to an empty list and for um, x in range, let's say 100, I am just gonna append the value of x square to my list so sq dot append x raised to power 2 so that's a very simple code and now let's say I want to calculate the time of execution of this code so all I have to do is just put a very simple cell magic command which is time and when I will run it again I will get the CPU time and the wall time of the execution of my particular um, this given code so what does CPU time and wall time mean Wall time is actually the total time it has taken for your process um, from start to end. Whereas CPU time is the exact amount of time, the portion of time for which CPU was actually executing your code. So for 78 microsecond, my process was actually being executed by CPU. Uh, whereas uh, a total of 81.1 millisec uh, microsecond it took for my process to give me the final result. It may be because my process might be waiting in some queue or anything like that. Okay, so this is the cell magic command which gives me that amount of time it is taking to execute the code in one go so if I just execute it again and again look at that I keep getting different values it's happening because every time there will be a different execution time for a given piece of code so now what if I want to calculate some um, exact value or let's say an average value which gives me an indication like how much time it is taking on an average to execute this piece of code so for that I can use something called time it so there is a cell magic command called time it time it is actually a built-in Python module as well so time it in which I just paste the same code and I can specify how many times I want my this particular code to be run by time it so that it can calculate the average time it is taking for it to execute so let's say I want it to execute it thousand number of times so I will just run it and look at that what I get I get that the average time it is taking to execute my code is 94.1 microsecond with a standard deviation of 10.3 microsecond per loop and basically we ran it for 10, 000, uh, 1000 loops okay generally the default value with which time it executes your code is 10 million I think so you can just check that out and yeah so this is how you do it this is how you can use time it if you want some mean value of your uh, execution of code and if you just want to calculate how much time it took for your code to be executed in one go you can simply use the time cell magic command so I think um, the concept of calculating that code of uh, the time of execution of given code in Jupyter notebook is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching